All right, guys, we're going to continue on working with InDesign. So what we want to do today, we want to take a picture and we want to add some text over the top of it. This is really going to help prepare you as you guys are going to make your superhero posters um, that you're going to take your text that you've already created and you're going to, or you're, you're going to take your picture that you've already created and you're going to put some text over the top of it. So... The first thing that we need to do though is we need to uh, create our new document. So we're going to go to File, New, and then do a new document. The only thing that I would like you to change on this page is just to make your picture landscaped. Um, on the Quest page you'll find that we have added this picture onto the Quest page that you can download and you can save. And you can open that up. The picture that we're going to use is in landscape mode, so we're going to go ahead and open this in landscape. When you do that, um, InDesign works a little bit differently than the other uh, Adobe programs. Uh, we can't just go up to File and hit Open to open up a picture. We saw yesterday, or in the previous quest, that you could add a rectangle frame. But there's another way that you could do this as well. You could just come up to File and hit Place. Go to your uh, folder that you opened, that you see, downloaded the picture to. And you'll see then that the picture is attached to my cursor. And one of the nice things about doing it this way is I have kind of a, a maybe a better idea of where my picture is actually going to go. So what I want to do, I want to go ahead and start it right in the corner there. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag it down and have it go right to the edge there. Now, it didn't quite fill that section. Um, I could stretch it a little bit if I wanted to. Um, I can um, hit this align so that I can uh, move it down. Or you'll notice that it has this circle in it. If I click on the circle, I can actually change the position of the picture itself and you notice that I kind of got that little crosshairs there right in the middle that tells me that my picture is aligned both vertically and horizontally so I can just drop it there and that looks pretty good so once we've got our picture in place what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add some text onto our picture remember that in order to start typing with text that you need to uh, click and drag to create a text box. So I've clicked on my text tool over here on the side. I'm going to go ahead and just drag out a text box. Maybe just something like, like this. And I like that this is a, a mountain. Mountains tell me that I'm something, uh, something pretty cool. I think that, you know, obviously they've, there's a peak and so you've, you've had to reach to the top of the peak. I don't know. So I'm going to say, let's write something like this. Reach your potential. And we'll put that right there. Once we've put our text in, um, you can click three times to select all of the text. And I'm going to go ahead and just make this a little bit bigger so that it pretty much fills our text box that we drew in. Just depending on the size of your text box, your size might be your font size might be a little bit bigger or smaller. From there, though, we also have a couple other tools that we can use to play with. Um, this is called the tracking, and you can play with this. You can kind of shrink it down. It actually keeps the letters the same size, but it makes them so they kind of overlap each other. Obviously, that's too much. You can't even read what it's saying. But sometimes you can get kind of a cool look to it where they're you know, a little bit more overlapped than normal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back to normal. You can also do the same thing, uh, a similar thing with this tool, which is called the vertical scale. And you can um, just kind of stretch it out and make the letters be taller. Again, I'm going to put it back to normal. You can also shift the baseline, which actually just moves the whole um, text up and down. So if you kind of want to just move it just incrementally into a position, you can move it with that a little bit at a time. You also have the horizontal scale, 
like we're just going to do this kind of a similar thing. Um, although it, in this one, it's actually going to be shrinking the size of the letters. So it's as opposed to this one where it was overlapping them, but keeping the size of the letters the same, this one is going to actually shrink the letters and it keeps the spacing proportionately the same. So they're never actually going to overlap. And then finally you have the uh, italics uh, tool and you can really, you know, make it really go to the side if you are interested in playing with that, you can do that as well. Finally, we also have some alignment um, tools over here. You can go center, left, center, right, etc. Um, and you can really play with the justification of it then as well so that if you do have text that you want to be centered, or left aligned, right aligned, or justified on either side or in the middle, you could do that as well. Now, for some of you guys, as you begin to put more text into your picture, uh, some of your pictures are going to be very busy. This picture is not quite so busy. But sometimes what you might find is that it would be nice to have a um, kind of a box that gives us a nice color that we can type over the top of. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just drag in a, a rectangle frame and put it right there. Once I've got it there, I'm actually going to come up to my fill and I'm going to click on black and just make this black. Um, at least initially I want to keep it like that because it's going to allow us to see the text that we're going to type in there. This one probably would have worked for a darker color, but just so that we can learn the skill we want to do that. After I've changed it to black, what I want to do next is go ahead and grab change to my text tool again and go ahead and drag a text box in there as well. And I want you guys to write this phrase. Uh, before we write it though, come up to the text um, fill and go ahead and change it to paper. And then I want to put in here in the phrase do today what others won't. So tomorrow you can do what others can't. And I really think, I really like this phrase. I really think this phrase will really help you reach your potential. You know, if you're doing today what others won't, you really will be able to do what others can't, and you really will be able to reach your potential. So I just kind of like that phrase. I think it fits well with the idea of a mountain. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just play with the size of it a little bit, though, and uh, try to find a good size that I like. One of the things that I really don't like, though, is when I have words that uh, kind of hyphenate in the middle here. So this might be a good idea. Uh, place for me to change some of that um, tracking and move it to a little bit so that it kind of drops it down to the next row. Might also think that I want to have that centered. Um, so that looks pretty good so far. But one of the nice things about this picture, and one of the reasons I picked it, just has a nice coloring to it. I really like just the um, color that is in each of these pictures here. And so one of the things that you can do uh, to kind of take advantage of that is you can come over here and use this color theme tool. If you click on the color theme tool, you can come over and you can just pick a section of the picture that you like. And uh, I kind of like just this sky here. And what it will do then is it will create then this, and some you may have to actually go back and click on this again, click on the color theme tool again for it to actually come up. But you can come up and it brings in these different colors that would fit in with your picture. You can also click on this arrow to get a little bit more, somewhat different colors in as well. But I like these that we've got here. If you pick a color, so instead of just being black here, if you pick a color, I can actually come up then and I can just highlight over top of there. And it's going to go ahead and change it to that blue color. I think that looks pretty good. I might also want to change, instead of white, actually change this to more of this pink color. It kind of matches the sky. And maybe instead of this black, 
box. Actually, I actually think maybe we'll make this one blue. Kind of fits with the same color blue. So now we've got this uh, pretty nice looking flyer or poster that we've made so far. One of the things you can do if you want to get a quick view of what yours looks like, you can hit W on your keyboard and it will actually put it in preview mode so that you can see uh, a preview of it without all the lines on there. Um, gives you a little bit more idea of what it would look like when you, we actually print it. So that gives you kind of a better view of it. You can hit W again to uh, bring in all the editing lines as well. Once, you've, once you have uh, gone through and you've um, put all these in place, and I would like you to put these specific things in there as well. I'll have this text on the quest page that you can just copy and paste in. Go ahead and make sure that you save it. And you can hit save as, save it um, as a InDesign document, first of all. After you've saved it, then what I want you to do is hit export. And this time when you hit export, you want to hit it as a uh, PDF and then print. We'll give it a name. And we'll hit save. Go ahead and hit export here. And then we'll have our document that we have created. And this is going to that will be uh, our document that we can add then to our page to show what we were able to create. Okay, all right, so that's your task for today. Uh, go ahead and start working on that.